All right, in today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you a bow jig that I made the other day. And it's made out of a, a 60 inch aluminum straight edge, a piece of wood and some string. And I'll get to that in a minute. And I wanted to show you a couple of older versions that I've had. I've been making these for years. I'll just take a strip of wood and tie some string on there, put a saw cut in the end. And uh, if you want a tighter radius, you just draw this a little bit closer and wrap this around and hold it. The one drawback with this is if you're, if you're, if you're trying to, to find the right radius or the right arc to lay out on something, on a piece of wood or something, it's, it's uh, kind of trial and error with this. You have to pull it or let it out and then wrap it. So um, they're useful in certain situations. Um, and I, I do use them now and then. But I saw a guy on uh, TV the other day on a woodworking program. He had a version of this one. He called it a, a bow jig. And his was a little bit smaller and it was all wood. It had a piece of wood up here for the bow. And he didn't have these the, the numbers marked off, but it was essentially the same thing. It was a smaller version. And I thought, I thought it'd be nice to make one using my my uh, 60 inch um, straight edge, aluminum straight edge. I thought using this straight edge would be better. Be I think you'll get a more uniform uh, arc out of this as opposed to a piece of wood. The, the grain can vary in the wood and you'll get flat spots and hard spots and, and it's not as smooth as something like this. So I decided to use that and I mounted it uh, to this piece of wood. This piece of wood is uh, two inches by three three feet long and then I put some saw cuts in it and the saw cuts they're a quarter inch deep and they're about three eighths on center from each other and there are 61 different slots in this so this is a it's all adjustable and the nice thing about this is it's adjustable and it's repeatable if I, if I use an arc on it to lay out something, I could either write that down or, or just remember it that, that, you know, that's a number 28 and I could, it's repeatable. So I really like that about it. Now, the one thing you have to keep in mind on this is this arc, this forms an arc, but it's not continuous. If you take, like say a six inch section of this, this arc right here, that radius is not going to be the same way out here. If you look at it, it actually flattens out and that's just because of the way you're bending this. So it's not, it's not like a real precise instrument that you're gonna use, but on a lot of the stuff that I do around the shop here, it's gonna be real nice. And I would say this, the middle, um, you know, two or probably the middle two and a half, three feet it's going to be a pretty continuous arc, so it, it's it's close enough to uh, um, it's close enough for a lot of the stuff that I do, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna replace these I think, and I'll just show you a couple different uses. I'll, I've got a piece of paper here with some with some dots on it. You could use this to find like a best fit curve if you have a piece of wood. Uh, or something that you need to lay out, if you try to find the best fit curve along these dots here, you could set this on here and you could just kind of adjust it until you find that. So that's not there yet. That's not too bad. So that looks pretty good there. I'll just draw this an arc through these points. And there you found the best fit curve along those points there. So it's useful in that. And also, here let me put this to the side. You can use it to, uh, this is just a scrap piece of wood and this arc is not smooth at all. But let's say you wanted to smooth this arc out. You just kind of put it up here and you adjust that until you get kind of close to it. That's pretty good. 
and then you can just set this up here I'm drawing in, in this pen so you could see it or this sharpie so that's a nice smooth arc through there so I think it's going to be a real useful tool and you could put a pretty good you could put a pretty big good bend on this and it's it's nice and smooth like I say it flattens out a little bit here at the end but maybe that'll be useful maybe you can kind of use it as a French curve on the end here for layout the one thing that I like is it's a nice smooth arc if it's not totally um, consistent with its radius along here um, it is in the middle portion but it's nice and smooth and that's what I like about it so and when you take the the tension off there this it comes back it's not like you're bending this so I think it's a really useful tool along with these these little ones here but um, I like I like using the aluminum I think you're gonna get a a more consistent arc along there so I just kinda keep most of the tension off when I'm storing it and I, I hang it right up on the wall here so it didn't take long to oh I guess I'll show you how I put it together it didn't take long to to, to make it I just have two screws that are two number 10 by I think like inch and a half and I just drilled them right through at the 30 at the 30 inch mark which is a half and then I put this in the vise and then drilled down into here I countersunk them and uh, just screwed it in there and then I have I have these all numbered there's 61 different slots and the, it's, it's a real fine adjustment from one to the next I leave most of the pressure there's not much tension in it So when I'm not using it, I just hang it on the wall. So that'll do it. That'll do it for the quick tip on how to make an adjustable bow jig. Okay?